The Lord be with you. Welcome to Daily Prayer for Wednesday, September 9th from Faith Lutheran Church, Columbus, Indiana. The order of prayer today is Responsive Prayer 1 from Lutheran Service Book, page 282. Holy God, Holy and Most Gracious Father, have mercy and hear us. I cry to you, O Lord. In the morning my prayer comes before you. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with a willing spirit. My mouth is filled with your praise, and with your glory all the day. Every day I will bless you, and praise your name forever and ever. By awesome deeds you answer us with righteousness. O God of our salvation, the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest seas, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. He redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with steadfast love and mercy. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. A reading from Psalm 123. To you I lift up my eyes, O you who are enthroned in the heavens. Behold, as the eyes of servants look to the hand of their master, and as the eyes of the maidservant to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God till he has mercy upon us. A reading from Micah chapter 7. Who is a God like you, pardoning iniquity and passing over transgression for the remnant of his inheritance? He does not retain his anger forever because he delights in steadfast love. He will again have compassion on us. He will tread our iniquities underfoot. He will cast all our sins into the depth of the sea. You will show faithfulness to Jacob and steadfast love to Abraham, as you have sworn to our fathers from the days of old. Our devotional reading is from Portals of Prayer for Wednesday, September 9th. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on him, because he cares for you. 1 Peter chapter 5. Cast off. There are some wonderful Jewish traditions that have been handed down through the ages. One of them is the Tachlish. Following the morning services on Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year, the members of the congregation stroll to a body of moving water gathering on the banks or a bridge. There, after prayer, they take crumbs from their pockets and cast them into the, ri- into the water. In Micah 7 we read, you will cast all our sins into the depths of the sea. So as we pray and cast off, we are expressing ourselves before the community of faith. Some say that we go to moving water because of the fish in it. Jewish tradition holds that fish do not have eyelids, therefore they are always watchful. Our God is always watchful too. He neither slumbers nor sleeps, but keeps his eyes on us day and night. What is it that is coming between us and our God? Thankfully, because of the blood of Jesus, we confess our sins and are fully forgiven. Forgive us, Lord, this day, for Jesus' sake. Amen. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good proceeds, grant to us, your humble servants, your holy inspiration, that we may set our minds on the things that are right, and by your merciful guiding accomplish them. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 
The Lord bless your day. We meet for Bible study at Faith today at 11 a.m. for the women and one for the men, and 1 p.m. for the women. We meet under the portico. We are studying the book of First Thessalonians. We will be streaming again, and we also will be having in-person services this evening, as we do every Wednesday evening at 6.30 p.m. The Lord bless your day.